In this video, I'm going to now show you how to edit a profile that may already be in your project that you can use as a wall sweep. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to first load the profile in. So I'm going to go to insert, which is actually where I already am. And I'm going to say load family. Inside of here, of course, it's going to take me to, usually it takes you to the Imperial Library, unless you have to set up for someplace else for it to go. I'm going to scroll down to profiles and technically since it's a wall sweep it is a wall profile and there's a few of them in here there's a still precast in here that's the one I'm going to open up so it looks like it, this is just in case it wasn't already in a project it already was here so I'm just going to say override the existing version and its parameters but I wasn't sure so I went ahead and loaded it in just in case now, if you're wondering, well, where did that go? Okay, let me show you. Over here in your project browser, come over here to Families, of course, expand that. Then scroll down until you get to Profiles itself, expand that. And as you can see, they're all loaded in based off of the ones that you have loaded in. The one we are working on is still precast. So I'm going to just hit the plus sign for just a second. You can see there's all these variations. There's a 5-inch wide, an 8-inch wide, 12-inch wide. What I mean by that is from um, th that's how deep the wall the sweep is from the wall to how far it juts out so just so there's no confusion but if I want to edit the whole entire thing I'm going to actually click on top of the word the name of the file itself not its types I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to say edit uh, what that's going to do and I'm just going to hit cancel on this right now it's not that big a deal what that's going to do is going to pop me in, pop me into the file, the family editing file for this precast sill. I obviously I want to add something on. I want to make a, a shallower sill. The, right now this one's at five inches. I don't want to do this that much. You're, we're starting to see smaller profiles when it comes to these uh, water tables, or that's another term, you know, for this, or precast sill. So we don't need it to be as wide. So especially when you don't have a wall that is that wide. So I only, actually all I need to do is I'm going to go to my type properties which is or my family types which is this box up here in properties with the blue. When I do that it should bring up all of the types that are made for this project. The dimension that I'm most interested in is this once again that width dimension. Now of course I'm not going to edit this one. I'm going to make a new type because maybe who knows I may need those as well. So I'm going to click on new and I'm going to call this one, we'll make it a three inch wide. So just go ahead and say three inch wide. From here, the dimension that is important is this dimension right here, the width. If I were to turn on my dimension lines, you'll see, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. You'll see that that actually is from this line here just so you can see the whole thing, see the slant and the precast sill. From this line here to this line here is the five inches that it is worried about. I'm going to make three, so I'm going to actually just type that in, three inches, and tell it OK. And it, it, it skinnies up. Now, obviously, we've got something else that happened here um, where this moved in. So what we could always do is edit that as well so that that goes that moves in when the the five inches moves in and you could just put a dimension on it that's all you got to do so I'm gonna throw one on here really quick I'm gonna say create I'm gonna say aligned dimension and what matters is this line to this point that's what matters and I'm gonna place it in uh, turn my Dimensions are not showing, so if that ever happens, just type in VV, go to Annotation Categories, because that's what a dimension is. Check dimensions. You can even do automatic sketch dimensions if you want to see them. I'll tell it OK, and there it is. There's, not only that, this is also giving me some information when it comes to what other items have parameters associated with them. So I'm just going to hit Escape twice. I'm going to now click on this dimension that I just put in, and I'm going to give it a parameter. Um, that parameter, I'm going to say create new parameter, uh, and we're going to say that this is the 
um, we'll call this the top uh, of sill, meaning that's the top of sill depth. We could even put top of sill depth on it so we have an idea of what we're talking about. It's Yes, you do want to make it a type parameter because you want this to change for every single type that you have, not necessarily every single instance. You want to keep these together. Um, it is grouped under a dimension. You could leave that there. We can put that information in um, later. Obviously, it's reading off of, it's a reported parameter. So what that means is all we have to do is just let the dimension do its work, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, I always like to put in tooltips, so I can just say use this parameter to declare the top width of the sloped sill. And it's just so you, you know, oh, it's just a very, very top piece. You know, and you can say this however you want and tell this okay. And tell it okay again. And then you could change this. And all you do, you just come up here to your type selector. Inside of your type selector right now, you notice it's set to 3 and 5 eighths because that's what it was. I'm going to actually take away 2 inches, though, because I've shortened this thing up. So it's really just um, going to be 1 and 5 eighths of an inch. I'm going to tell it's okay. And notice it now keeps that look to it. Uh, you can keep the other look with the other types. So if I were to go back in my types and I go to my other ones, because they're still here, they don't change, they don't go away. Go to my, you'll notice 5 inches is still in 3 5 8. 8 inches is still 3 and 5 8. And 12 inches is still 3 and 5 8. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, we want a 3 inch wide. So now that I've got it in there, I'm just going to tell it OK. And I've got this silk. I didn't want to do any type of uh, special naming for this. I do want it to be the same name as it was when it was in the project. So now that I've made these changes to it, I'm just going to load them into the project. Um, I'm going to tell it, yes, please save it. Probably going to tell me. Um, and yes, I do want to replace it. Um, always, like I said, overwrite the existing version and its parameter values because we now added in this new value. So I now have a sill with a skinnier pre. Um, depth to it that I want it and it's even going to show up if I look over here in my project browser it's even going to show up as my three inch wide because that's what I named it so if you have any questions on anything else I'm going to continue in one of my next videos I'll show you how to apply this to a wall assembly so once again if you have any questions please let me know if you also want to don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end and then you can really stay up to date when I start doing these tutorials thank you